어, 일단은 필리핀은 여름 나라잖아요. 근데 한국은 좀더 계절이 다양해서 어, 지금 한국에 계시면 한국의 아름다운 가을을 느끼실 수 있고 또 조금 더 지나면 또 춥긴 하지만 또 눈도 보실 수 있고 이렇게 좀 계절의 다양성을 즐기러 한국에 오시는 것도 굉장히 좋을 것 같다는 생각이 듭니다. So he points out that, you know, as you all know, the Philippines is a tropical country. It's pretty warm all year round. So now would be a really good time for you to visit Korea because it's fall. My experience is you autumn, winter, and then So it's going to snow, it's going to get very cold. That'll be a great experience also. So now would be a really good time for you to plan your trip to Korea. Agree with you, John? Okay. Okay, with that, we're going to move on to some questions from the press. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. okay. okay, these are questions from the press. We're going to go through them one by one. Our first one says, when you first came here, Filipino fans were just starting to be obsessed with Hallyu through K-dramas like My Girl. Today, the Korean wave has remained strong. What do you think is the secret to its staying power and why is it sweeping across and beyond Asia? How does it feel to be considered as one of the frontliners of the phenomenal Korean pop culture wave? Oh, they've seen them, but yeah, okay. Hanri uh, 열풍이 지금 되게 심하게 불고 있잖아요. 아시아도 넘어서 이제 그런 상황인데 이 놀랄만한 한류 열풍의 비법이 무엇이라고 생각하세요? 어... 글쎄요... 라이벌 얘기가 나와서 그런데 라이벌 아직도 기억하시는 건지 Do you all remember my girl? 어, 사실 그때 저도 처음 한류라는 걸 느끼고 필리핀에 와서 키워보셨나 하고 있었는데 계속 시간이 흐를수록 안 좋아하지 않고 변화를 하고 뭐 새로운 것에 도전하고 뭐 발전하기 위해서 노력하는 이런 것들을 좋아해 주시지 않나 하는 생각이 들어요. 또 갈수록 이제 배우들이나 가수들이나 실력이 점점 좋아져서 그래서 또더 좋아해 주시지 않나 생각이 들어요. So, 지난번에 나한테 알아야 할 거예요, My Girl. Because that was around that time. Na pumunta dito si Lee Dong Hook to promote My Girl. So that was 13 years ago. And he thinks the secret to the Hallyu wave being strong is um, parang they don't stagnate. You know, they keep trying to innovate. They're trying new things. So maybe it's the constant, constant innovation that keeps everybody interested. Tapos, you know, as time goes by, the artists, whether they're singers or actors, they get better and better at their craft. And I think that's what the fans enjoy. You be on? I okay, come on and show. Alright. Next question. What is your reaction that some of the locations in your drama Goblin is one of the visited tourist attractions in South Korea? Drama to give it He's very happy that the fans not only enjoy the show, but they go further and come to Korea. Uh, they enjoy the place, and so he feels like there's been a positive effect. There's been a synergy effect from the TV show. So he's very, very, very happy about that. Parang mas maganda pa yung kulot niya sa akin. Ang simple lang. Next question. Hi. If you're given the chance to spend one day with Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, where would you take them and why? Filipino fans in Korea, 무도하세요. 아, 무도하세요. 네, 그래서 한국의 역사에 대해서도 좀 알려드릴 수 있을 것 같고 또 
곳의 그 풍경들, 그러니까 도시와 그 문화가 문화재가 공존하는 그 풍경도 굉장히 이국적인 면에서 어, 기회가 되면 하루를 보낼 수 있다면 경주에 한번 모시고 가고 싶습니다. So he would love to take all of you to a city called Gyeongju. City in Hwangpo, then Gyeongju. Oh, voila! I can't be long. Okay. So the the reason he recommends Gyeongju is because this is a heritage city. It's a city that's very rich in Korean culture. The whole city um, is a heritage site, and so the the sites that you see there are ipasila, and you will really get a good grasp of Korean culture in a city like Gyeongju. So. Uh, 
um, he says, there are many, many roles that I haven't been able to play yet, even in my 20 year uh, career. So I think there's much work to do, and I think the most important thing is that I still want to keep doing this job, is what I want the fans to do. And I'm sure they feel the same way about you. Thank you so much to our members of the press for your questions. And now I believe Lido Wook has a special message for all of us. Read it.